Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hello. Good How morning, are you? Edgar. First, front yes. row center, se dice en inglés. <laughs> front row center, en primera fila, en el centro. Edgar, how are you feeling? Fine, fine. Uh, nice weekend. You had a nice weekend. Oh, you, yeah. oh, you're having a nice weekend, right? It's I'm good. having a nice weekend, but uh, I'm seeing that uh, my neighbors uh, had their uh, palas. How do you say palas? Their shovels. Uh, palas a shovel. So I think after the class, I will have to go and help them. You're going to have to <laughs> shovel some snow. <laughs> well, just remember, if you were a farmer, you'd have to shovel shit. So at least snow is a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm looking for the silver lining. La parte, yeah. right? And uh, I, you know why I said uh, the weekend? Because I, I didn't even remember what day it was, just to give you an idea. <laughs> mm. I'm a little bit lost. Uh, Cristina. Well, I know your name is not Cristina, but okay. We'll, we'll call you Cristina if you want. This is my daughter. <laughs> she changed the, the name there. <laughs> no worries. No worries. How are you, Jose Maria? Uh, hanging in there. How old are you? Hanging in there too. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 my uh, holiday is coming to an end, right? And uh, uh, uh -huh. Tuesday... I'll be back on, on Vaughn Radio. So I don't, I hope I remember how to do the show. <laughs> so I'm just enjoying, I'm enjoying those last few moments there, squeezing out those last few moments here with my daughter. But it was nice. Uh, as I was uh, telling Carmen before, I had a class with Carmen this morning. Um, you know, when you work for yourself, you never really have holidays, <laughs> you know. You have holiday from one of your jobs, but, you know, your other one you don't. But it's great. When you love what you do, it makes it easier, too, you know. So, all right, uh, Jorge, Mexico. What time is it in Mexico right now, Jorge? 3 a.m. Oh, my God. Now, let's give him a nice round of applause, please, for Jorge. <laughs> Jorge, I mean, that's dedication right there. Jorge is a trooper. Do you guys know this word? Yep. Um, yes, uh, like a soldier, no? Yes, a trooper is a, a kind of soldier, but when we, we also say a trooper is a policía montado, soldado de caballería, but also a trooper is somebody who, who's there no matter what. Ahí está, da igual lo que pase, you're a trooper. Me acuerdo, I remember when we were partying, when we were younger, el que decía, ah, I stayed until seven, you're a trooper, eres el fuerte, el, so... Good job, Jorge. <laughs> we'll thank try you, thank and, you. We'll try and wake you up like a cup of coffee. Does everybody have a cup of coffee or tea or something? No. Yeah. Right. I had mine. <laughs> you had, I'm on my third cup of coffee yeah. right now. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's why I'm... I, uh, hello, Carmen. I just saw Carmen. <laughs> Carmen and I just had a private class because in the interstellar level, every month I raffle off a private class. And Carmen won it this month, so <laughs> and we just had a private class, which was tons of fun. Lo hemos pasado muy bien, learning yeah. and philosophizing a bit too. <laughs> and look at that, right in the center. I was good. Lolis, welcome back. We missed you. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah, me too. Me too. Have you been? I miss you too. Have you been really? I imagine you've been really busy at work lately. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm no time. I'm no time. <laughs> you don't have any time, right? Yeah, and with the Brexit was really crazy. Oh, Brexit. Sure. Brexit affected your company. Sure, sure. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, a lot of times I don't think about it, that a lot of companies in Spain or in, in other parts of Europe are going to have to change a lot of things now. Mm -hmm. You know? And how's yeah, it going? How's the transition going? Does it look positive or it's still uh, a yeah, mess? Yeah, no, no, much better. No. Okay. At Good. the beginning, it was everybody was like uh, a bit um, nervous or... Nervous, yeah. Incertidumbre. Yeah, was, uncertain, uh, uncertain. Uns so uncertain, uncertain is the uh, adjetivo y uncertainty is el sustantivo. So, yeah, a lot of sure. Well, I think I always say it. That's the word that defines 2020. Yeah. Uncertainty. But now, now it's, now it's, it's running much smoothly. Smooth. It, yeah. 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 As we say, smooth as sin, sin grumos. <laughs> no. 
Smooth. Great. Well, glad to hear it. Me alegro de, de oírlo. Glad to hear it. Uh, there's Mila down in Seville. Hello, Mila. How are you? Fine. But here, uh, this weekend has been very cold, too. Oh, really? It's not because I am in Seville. Yes. I think oh. the people have the idea that uh, in Seville is too cold, uh, too, too hot every, uh, at any time of the year. But uh, now, this week uh, has been very, very cold. Right. If people has or people have? People have. People <laughs> have. You. People. No worries. No worries. Um, yeah, I said that. In fact, I talked to a friend in Seville yesterday and I said, oh, you guys are loving it down there. He said, no, we're not. It's freezing. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> it seems like an anomaly. <laughs> you know? Totally. Totally. And what's the I have never seen the... Sorry? What, what's the current temperature there? Around now, I don't know, maybe around zero or something like that. Zero, but here right. in Sev zero. yes, I have never seen the, the frozen on the cars. Oh, the frost. This week, uh, the, the frost, mm -hmm. yeah, frozen is the adjective, y la pe mm -hmm. y peliculón. <laughs> <laughs> and frost is a pien piensa en los, las neveras, uh, anti frost, yeah. Right, same stuff. So, so you guys had frost in Seville. Now, now you know that these are the final days. <laughs> you Armageddon, know, no? You say Armageddon? Armageddon, exacto. Ahí lo tienes. Armageddon. These are the final days here. It's got to be. Plagues, yeah. uh, you know, uh, uh, people storming the capital. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> I said, and he said, the, the best part was everybody assumed that when it turned to 2021, that everything was going to just disappear. <laughs> yeah. And 2021, we're off to a good start, ironically yeah. speaking, obviously. <laughs> Storming the Capitol. Uh, uh, and I, I fear that this is the beginning. Of course, a lot of, a lot of companies are still receiving grants or aid, ayuda, from the government. But when that dries up, We'll see what happens there. So you, you guys know me. I'm a positive person, but I have a feeling this is, you know, it's, it's going to take a long time to get back to what we consider normal. But normal. Carmen, how do we say mm -hmm. lo que no mata engorda? <laughs> Carmen, we just looked at it. Do you remember? No, I, I, I forgot it. It's a song. Who's got it? Who, who knows how to say it? It's a song. It's a song by Kelly Clarkson. It's Mira, nuestro músico. That makes you makes stronger. Make you stronger. <laughs> stronger. Yeah. stronger. <laughs> I'll put it in the link. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Es muy literal, but uh, it's true. It's true. We will survive, como dice Gloria Gaynor. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. <laughs> All right. Well, great stuff. Uh, Patricio, how you feeling? Good morning, everybody. Amen. How you doing? Are you over in Murcia? What's the weather like? Well, uh, Mila, Ooh. ask him what the weather's like in Murcia. Uh, uh, Patricio, what's the weather in, in Murcia is? No, what's the weather like in Murcia? Ah, or how's okay. the weather what's, in Murcia? What's the, what's the weather like in Murcia? Ahí lo tienes. Uh, well, I, I just jumped uh, from the bed, so I don't know. <laughs> decimos, <laughs> but, decimos, I, I just... <laughs> I just rolled out of bed, to roll out of bed, we say. Roll out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, nine degrees, but it's it's getting higher or mm, no. Mm, warmer? It's getting warmer. Hotter. It's getting hotter. Sure, sure. It's heating up. Yeah, until 21. 21. So it's a good day. Wow. And Carmen, what's the weather like over in uh, in your neck of the woods? I, I imagine. <laughs> Weather's pretty nice. Look at her window open. We can see that Carmen's got the window open, which right there tells us a lot. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> today is yeah. a little bit cloudy, but the sun is even bigger. <laughs> the sun is shining and bright. Yeah. This. Yeah. Maybe hoy today we we reach uh, 19 degrees maximum. 
That I'm, is very, very cold for me. <laughs> I'm not an envious person, but now I've just no, become yes. one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. It's all right. I have to say, though, it was really, it was really nice to see all my Spanish friends and family enjoying a snowstorm like we used yeah. to, uh, you know, playing in the snow and snowboarding down their streets. So as you guys know, in New York, that's business as usual. <laughs> it's not, yeah. nothing, uh, it's nothing to sneeze at, como decimos. All right, well, let's, let's warm up. Today, we're going to look at, I thought, something that could possibly even save our lives at, at a certain moment. We're going to look at the human body. Because I, 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 and expressions too related to the body and other things. But I always say this I say, if you have it, you should know how to say it. Right? So, si tú tienes una garganta, deberías saber decir la palabra garganta. Si tienes un coche, deberías. So, uh, as with the body, if we have all these parts, we'll talk about some of the, the major organs as well. Okay. And we'll be looking at, but let's warm up. Vamos a calentar. Let's do a little um, short answer exercise, okay? So I don't want the long answer. I just want the short answer. Now, the key with the short answer is usually your answer is in my question. So if I say, did you go to the supermarket yesterday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Were you at the supermarket? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. So usually you'll, not usually, nine... <laughs> I know que cambia was or were, but your answer is in my question many times. Okay, so let's start with Edgar. Cristina, I'm, I'm sorry, Jose Maria. <laughs> Ask Edgar if he's if he likes good food. Edgar, do you like good food? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good. Um, Edgar, ask Jose Maria if his shoes are clean. Jose Maria, um, are you shoes clean? Are your shoes clean? Esa es la buena. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Prove it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Maria, ask Jorge if he is Spanish. Jorge, are you Spanish? Muy yes, bien, I am. Muy bien el Spanish ahí, me gusta. Yes, I am. Muy bien. Jorge, ask Lolis if she would like to be a millionaire. Uh, Loles, would you like to be a millionaire? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Muy bien, la L esa no la pronunciamos. De hecho, es un, un homófono para madera. Would, would. No, suena exactamente igual. Good job, guys. So far, so good. I'm listening to that pronunciation and it sounds great. Okay, uh, Loles, ask Mila if her eyes are blue. Mila, are your eyes blue? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Good. Mila, uh, ask Patricio if uh, he has ever called me an idiot. Sorry, could you repeat? Ask Patricio if he has ever... <laughs> para usar un presente perfecto, porque hemos usado okay. presente, hemos pasado. So, es para usar los diferentes tiempos. Ask, um, ask Patricio if he's ever called me an idiot. Y todos, cuando nos toca, haciéndolo también, ¿no? En vuestra cabeza, a ver si, si lo averiguáis. Patricio, uh, I don't understand the, the last word. Has, uh, have you, so, ¿Has llamado have Alberto you alguna vez un idiota? Have you idiot. ever... Mm -hmm. Idiot. Ah. Yeah, idiot. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Uh, Patricio, have you ever called uh, uh, Alberto idiot? An idiot. Pónmelo todo junto <laughs> y lo tienes, Mila. Have you ever called Alberto an idiot? Have you ever called Alberto an idiot? No, I haven't. <laughs> All right. I, I, I said, not that I remember. Maybe, maybe and, one time. And, and I, I won't. <laughs> and I won't. Very good, good. And have you ever, muy importante esta estructura. Have you ever been to tal? Have you ever listened to? Have you ever, as alguna vez? Okay. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Patricio, ask Carmen if it snows in Canarias, in, in the Canary Islands. Uh, does, it, does it snow in Canary Islands? No, no, uh, we can't snow in the Canary Islands. Pero como, como dirías But, la respuesta corta? No, no, no. No, we don't. No, 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 we can't. Ok, repite la pregunta, Patricio. Does it snow in Canary Island? Uh, it? No, it doesn't. Ah, no, it doesn't. ahí está la buena. No, it doesn't. It doesn't snow. No, uh, but excuse me. Yeah. It does, it does snow on oh, the Canary Islands. Oh, it does? Right. Yeah. 
Okay. Because on the day the oh. high <laughs> mountain in sure. yeah. in Spain and also here in the center of my island, Gran in Canaria, mm -hmm. in the center because uh, we have uh, uh, 1,700 meters high. In, so, so you're 1,700 meters above sea level. Yeah, about about sea level above sea level and we. Uh, uh, sometimes it's snow on January or February because of the height. Because of the height. Oh, okay. height. I didn't know that. See, I, I had no idea. I assume. But we we can't we can't ski. Right, right. You can't. You can maybe make a little snowball, but that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can make snowballs, but no snowmen. <laughs> no snowmen. No, no, no snowmen. No. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's do this now. Let's now that we're warmed up a little bit. What I want to do is we're going to go. I think the easiest way is just go down the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask each one of you, what's this? What are these? What are those? Y vamos a practicar el these and those, el this and that, que es clave. We're also going to practice our possessives because in Spanish you say, me duele la mano. But in English, it's my hand, his head, her so siempre poseemos, we own our body parts. So that's a different thing. We would never say, I hurt the hand. It would be my hands always. So we're going to practice and I'll show you how. So uh, let's start with Edgar. Edgar, what's this? It's the head. It's, the... it's your, right? Acuérdate el pose. Ah, it's your es, head. Okay. It's your yeah. head. Porque nunca diríamos el the. Es, es exactamente lo que quería demostrar. So perfect, Edgar. Ahí lo hemos, ahí lo hemos. So, <laughs> queremos practicar hers, porque a lo mejor digo en loles, digo, ¿qué son estos? De loles. Entonces ahí, they are her eyes. Okay. Así practicamos el they are, those are, el, el posesivo y la parte del cuerpo también. Okay. So one more time, Edgar, what's this? It's your head. It's your head. That's your head. Eso te vale. Eh, let's see. Te, te iba a llamar Cristina. Jose María. No, no worry. <laughs> What's this? But on Edgar. Uh, uh, that is, that is uh, her. No, he's, he's her. Okay. Y contraeme el that is y es más natural. That's his hair. That's his hair. Right? That's his Hair. Uh, acuérdate, se pronuncia hair. He oído mucha gente pronunciarlo un poco raro, pero hair, hair, que se pronuncia igual but, que el hierro. By the way, you have a lot of hair. You have I, a lot of hair. No, I, uh, I need a haircut. <laughs> you, need to, you need to do your haircut. <laughs> I need to get a haircut desperately. <laughs> but I'm annoyed, man. Now with this COVID, the new strain, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I can wait. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice este estilo de pelos? Speak, uh, pick, pick, pike, pike. Spikes, right? Spikes or pinchos, uh. right? Spikes. So this is a spiky hairdo. Okay, vamos un paso más allá. So we said my head, we said my, we said Edgar's hair, but there's something that connects our hair to our head. I think you say cabelludo, cabelludo or something like this. Does anyone know how to say that in English? In my head? No. Esto se llama scalp. Line hair? Scalp. 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 So your scalp is that thing, you know, that, that, that white or whatever color that connects your head to your hair. Okay. What is a scalper? A scalper. Now, first, the scalper in the traditional sense is in the Indian days when they used to scalp your head with an axe. Ah, uh, yeah. That, but also a scalper is uno que revende en, eh, entradas. So if you bought scalped tickets, entonces ya cambia de reventa. So are these tickets mm -hmm. scalped? Uh, yeah, I got them from a scalper. Okay. Espera, es que no sé. De, uh, I can't type today. No me sale. <laughs> scalped tickets. Okay. And the person who sells scalp tickets is a scalper. All right, good. Uh, let's see, uh, Jose Maria. Uh, what are these on Jorge? Ah, bueno, ya te he preguntado. Jorge, what are these? Pero on Lolis, on Lolis. Um, I don't know the name. Ask me. Pregúntame, ¿qué son estos? Ah, uh, what are these? Right, siempre digo, no tienes que saberlo, pero tienes que saber hacer la pregunta. Those are your eyebrows. Uh, eyebrows. Okay, your eyebrows. Cuidado, he visto mucha gente poner eyebrow. No es brown, no lleva N. 
It's brow, eyebrow. So these are your eyebrows, okay? Uh, Loles, uh, what are these on all of us? What? What are these? Okay. Pero, these are your si ears. Your your siendo ears. Vosotros. <clears throat> these are our ears. Our good. ears. Ears, good. Um, let's see, Mila, what is this but on Jose Maria? This is the the for the forcing. Okay, foreskin is otra. Eh, si has dicho foreskin es lo de la lo que de pucio. Ah. No vamos a tocar esa. No 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 no. Pero más no. Yo no. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. If you have it, you have to know. Yes, that's true. No less. <laughs> I don't know the name. What is this? Forehead. Alberto, what Forehead. is this? Forehead. 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 Oh. For skin is otra cosa. <laughs> <laughs> and don't prove it, Jose Maria. Don't prove it. <laughs> Mila, Mila. Mila, Mila, ¿cómo lo dirías? Porque me dijiste the, pero acuérdate, yes, es de él. That. That is uh, his uh, his forehead. Right. Y contrámelo, that's his forehead. The, that's his forehead. That's his forehead. Good. Easy one. Uh, Patricio, uh, what is this on me? Your nose. Okay, good. Let's go a step further. My nose has two holes. What are Your those nose? called? I don't know that. Nostrils. Nostrils. Nostril. Nostril damus. <laughs> Nostril damus. Nostrils. <laughs> These are your nostrils. Okay. That's your nostrils. Those are, those are, right? Porque es plural. Those are, those yeah. are your nostrils. Those are. Right? Mm -hmm. Those are my, these are, y yo diría these porque son míos. These are my nostrils. Um, okay. Uh, the next one. Carmen, what are these things on Edgar? Mm, chicks. Yep, pero ahora dame toda la frase. Para si usamos ah, los <laughs> they, they are his cheeks. Absolutely. They are his cheeks. Remember, we have two sets of cheeks. En el culete también se llaman cheeks. Okay. <laughs> se sabe del contexto. Esta clase va, it's X-rated today, no? <laughs> <Four skins. laughs> I, I like uh, Merluza cheeks. Merluza. We, we say with a baby a lot of times, como es doble aliteración, double alliteration, chubby cheeks. Chubby es regordete. So babies have chubby cheeks. Chubby, chubby cheeks. cheeks, right? Okay, um, okay good. Uh, let's continue. Uh, Edgar, what is this on Carmen? It's her chin. It's her chin. Absolutely. It's her chin. Um uh, Cristina, I want to Jose Maria. What is this on Loles? Uh, this is her young. This no, young. porque no, les, no está cerca de ti. Tendrías que decir that's that. Ah, sorry, that is that's her jaw. Jaw, young. right? Must jaw. Jaw. That's yo. her jaw. Yeah. Piensa en yo. el tiburón. Yo. Mandíbula se llama could, jaws. Could you spell it, please? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Your jaw. Uh -huh. Ahora, un médico también te dice, well, your mandibula, yeah. pero la gente normal, the layman, layman es persona cualquiera, would say your jaw. Your jaw. Okay, cheeks, nose, we said eyebrow, we said forehead. Let's move on down here. And Jorge, what's this on me? Uh. Ask me, Alberto, you know, what, señala el tuyo y me preguntas. Alberto, what's this? That's your neck. The neck, ah, oh, yeah. That's your neck, oh. right? Cuello <laughs> is your neck. And inside our neck, who knows this one? Inside our neck, we have that thing where food and air comes up. What is that called? Garganta. The throat. Uh -huh. Throat. Throat. Correcto. Throat. Y how do you say, tengo a, me duele la garganta? It's a good one. Throat. throat. Muy bien. Throat, throat sore. Al revés, Carmen. I have a sore, dolorido. Sore throat. throat. Uh, no, sé de le no es que no sé deletrear, es que lo estoy poniendo todo al revés hoy. I have a sore throat. Me duele 
la garganta. All right, uh, let's move on down. And um, Edgar, uh, excuse me, Loles, uh, what are these called on Edgar? Those are uh, his uh, shoulder. shoulders. Shoulders, <laughs> right? Older. Those shoulders. are his shoulders. También el andén de la carretera es otro uso, the shoulder. So when you when you move to the side of the street Arsene. where you don't drive, that's called the shoulder. También. Uh, Arsen. Arsen, mm. yep. It's another mm -hmm. word for that, okay? Shoulder. Esta me la, la sabe mi hija. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Edgar, what's up? I have a question. I, I heard in a, in a TV show a couple of days. Uh -huh. How do you say this? A, a snuggle your... To shrug. Shrug. Shrug is, I don't know. Yeah. To shrug your shoulders. Shrug your shoulders. Mm -hmm. what, does, yeah. what does it mean? It's like... I don't know. <laughs> lo que hacen los niños mucho. ¿Qué quieres que haga yo? To shrug. <laughs> Vamos a ver lo que pone word reference. Shrug your shoulders. Ah, y ya, ya que está... Bueno. Luego vamos a hacer unos, eh, we're going to do some actions with things, but a good question. Encoger los hombros, it says here, to shrug your shoulders. Shrug, shrug. I don't know, to shrug your shoulders. Okay, these are my shoulders. Uh, next up, Mila, what's this on Jorge? That's uh, his back. That's his back. Acuérdate también, lo dividimos upper back, lower back. That's uh, his upper back. No, bueno, lo has dicho, era más para que sabéis that you can, if you're going to the doctor, I have problems, and they'll say in your upper back or your lower back usually, right? Um, superior, y, right? Okay, good. Uh, back, and then we're going to go over to this one over here. Patricio, what are these on Carmen? Those are her elbows. Those are? Her elbows. Good. Your elbows. Uh, <laughs> Carmen, what are these on all of us? Todo entero. Mm, those are our arms. Good. Those are our arms. Okay. Arms. And then at the end of our arms, we've got these things. That's easy. Hands and fingers. No, esas, esas fácil. But what about these? Edgar, what are these called on me? That's your knuckles. Pero that va con singulares. Entonces, cámbiame la frase un poco. Those are your knuckles. Chris. Eso es. Those yeah. are your knuckles. El puño americano este de metal, I think you call it, is called brass knuckles. Brass es de latón, de metal. Brass knuckles. Okay? Knuckles, esa acá, nuda. Okay? Y de hecho, el verbo knuckle down es ponerse serio. Estudiar. No, ponerte ya, I'm going to knuckle down this year and practice my English, okay? To knuckle down. Okay, so knuckles, nails, es uñas, y seguimos. Oh, muñeca. We don't say doll. Um, Jose Maria, what's this called on Mila? Uh, that is Mila's wrist. Good. Y el that is, me gusta contraído, suena más natural. That's Mila's wrist. That's Mila's wrist, W. Completamente muda. Wrist. Muy bien. Okay, good. Moving on down. Okay, ah, here. <laughs> Las alas, right? Uh, Jorge, te ha tocado una difícil, pero ya sabes hacer la pregunta. Jorge, what are these on you? Alberto. <laughs> what, are these? what are? So what's ah, this? What are these? What are these? Uh, right? yes. okay. What's this or what are these? Those are your arm pits. And I think it's el agujero, el hoyo de la, del brazo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, armpit. Okay, uh, Loles, what is this called on me? This is your breast. This, no, porque no. no that's you. your breast. Okay, breast, a lo mejor porque <laughs> tengo pecho, pero... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Se pueden llamar moobs, man boobs, pero bueno. <laughs> eh, breast para mujeres. Okay. And chest <laughs> is unique. Chest. Chest is pecho. That's your chest. chest is for both, no? Men Absolutely. and women. Chest is for both. Yeah, unisex. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, then, but then breast we would use. say for, for women and for chicken. <laughs> Me gusta chest, la yeah, pechuga. 
Okay, so, but I, I understand what you mean, uh, Loles, and I'm working on it. Estoy en ello, ¿eh? <laughs> <laughs> Usamos la palabra move. ¿La conocéis? Will... Move. Man. And I have to use chest for everybody, and then I don't... Yeah, chest is good because it works for everybody, but la palabra moves, man boobs. <laughs> uh, boobs is informal, no? Boobs is not, yeah, boobs is an informal word, but of course, if you're telling somebody they have moobs, you're not being very formal. <laughs> but I don't take it personal. I know you made a mistake there. Um, Sorry. Okay. No, pero por eso me gusta ver eso también, just to clear that up, that breast works, uh, uh, excuse me, breast is specifically female and chest works for everybody. Okay, uh, Mila, what's this called uh, on Edgar? That, that's his stomachache. Okay, no, no es dolor de, de tripa. Stomachache es dolor. <laughs> Your stomach. <laughs> that's his stomach. Okay, y cuidado con esa E delante, la S. That's his that's no, stomach. Esa, his con stomach. That's his stomach. Para that's que no stomach. Que that's his stomach. That's his stomach. Okay, y acuérdate, stomach acaba con eh, sonido K puro, nunca con CH. Stomach. Stomach. Okay. Stomach. So that's his stomach. All right, Patricio, uh, what's this over here? I think you say cadera um, on me. Those are your lips. No, lips. my lips. lips. These are my lips. 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 Okay, my lips. hip is cadera. Uh, y waist. Siempre me lío con waist en español. Waist es cintura. Cintura. Okay, so hips are the cadera, and your waist is your cintura. Si piensas en los Levis, Levi's jeans, pone L y W, right? La W is waist. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. I was thinking about one um, Shakira son talking about hips. Ah, hips. lo tienes. Hama, 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 hama. <laughs> Se llama the hips don't lie. Don't lie. Yeah, cadera I, no miento. I, I couldn't remember that. <laughs> I know, you were just thinking of the video, not the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> He was thinking like about Shakira. <laughs> he, was, he was saying, those hips really don't lie. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> y hip también es, da, es de moda. Piensan en un hipster. hipster. Oh, it, it, sorry, oh, one question. Pretty, is yeah. hip or hips? Hip. Hips. Well, one hip and both hips. Oh, okay. So if the, one side is my left hip, my right hip, but the whole thing would be your hips. Good question. Okay, hips, um, mm -mm, we can jump over the private parts, but I guess the, the words that are scientific, penis, vagina, you know, there are many ways to express this idea, but those are like scientific ways. <laughs> 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 um, you know, your, your genitals, no. You, with that stuff, you know, you don't want to go to a doctor and say, my mm, hurts. <laughs> my, so you can always go with penis for men and vagina, which is kind of like non-offensive, right? Um, okay, uh, let's move on down. And Carmen, I have these things, the top part of my leg. What are those called? The top part of your leg? Yeah, because I have my, my lower part, then I have my knees, but the part above my knees, ya te da rodilla, eh, la, la ca muda. I, I don't know that, that word. Does anybody know it? Upper leg. I like it. Y bon, y nos vale, pero thigh. 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 Es como decir high, pero con th. Th thigh. Lo mismo when we're having chicken, right? Do you want a thigh? Do you want a leg? Do you want a breast? Right? Thigh. Muslo. Gemelo? Gemelo, no, gemelo, 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 gemelo. Ahí, okay, well, Uslo. you just gave it to us. Okay, okay. Half, Sorry. gemelo, que también significa a baby cow. Y acuérdate, mm -hmm. que esta es un plural irregular. Es como, <coughs> eso es el plural. No es calves, sino calves, como knife, ¿no? Sigue la, la esta de knife. So my calf or my calves en plural. Ya hemos dicho knees. Okay, esta por la pronunciación, tobillo. Edgar, what are these, eh, los míos? Forgot the name. Uh, what's, Alberto, what's, what's this? Ankle. Okay, that's your ankle. 
uncle. Yes. Okay. Now be yeah. careful. Vamos a, a decir esta frase todos. My uncle sprained My uncle. his ankle. Un esguince is a sprain. To sprain is hacer un esguince. My uncle sprained his ankle. Dámelo, Edgar. Dime ah, esa frase. My uncle sprained his ankle. Perfect. My, my uncle sprained, no? Sprained. Sprained. His uncle. Ankle. No, porque has dicho tío como la segunda. So, ah, como, ah. Think of crying. Ah. Uncle. Ankle, ankle. Y otros, uh, 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 uncle, uncle, como, uh, uncle, otro, ankle. ankle. Abrimos más uncle. la boca. Okay. And, um, and Alberto, excuse uh, me, uh, this is the, the ankle also? No. Elbow. Elbow, elbow, okay. Elbow. elbow es, and es eso. Yeah. And, Your and ankles. Ankle. To have a sprained ankle es un esguince en el tobillo. No, so you can say, I sprained my ankle or I have a sprained ankle, right? Um, okay. Um, Cristina, es que no, aunque sé que eres tú, Leo, Cristina. José María, um, let's see, what is the, um, you say talón in Spanish. And Jorge, what are those? Those are uh, Jorge's heels. Heels. Yes. Heels. heels. Piensa que la palabra heels. curar y talón son homófonos. I hope your heel heals soon. <laughs> Acuérdate que suena igual. Espero que se cure rápido tu talón. And of course, we say the same thing. Your Achilles heel. No, decís lo mismo. El talón de Aquiles. Heel, Your yeah. Achilles heel. Your weak point. Right? So we have the same. Again, we're going to look, when we come back, we're going to look at expressions, como se dice sonar los, you know, different expressions that have to do with it. But I wanted to cover the vocab first before. Um, okay, vamos por los pies. Eh, Jorge, what are uh, these, pero on loles? Pies. That are... Those are, right? That is singular. Uh, do, those are her foot. No, foot is singular. ¿Cómo se dice en plural? Uh, feet. Eso those es. Those are her feet. Esa es la buena. Those are her feet. Eh, si, te, si a veces te cuesta, piensa que tooth... Es un diente, es doble O. And teeth es dos dientes, doble E. Pues lo mismo con, con pies. Foot, feet. It's a little trick. Acuérdate con esas dos. El E, -E es el plural y el O, -O es el singular. Ok, foot and feet. Ok, and uh, no problem, my, my pleasure. And Loles, what are those a la punta de los, de los eh, pies de Mila? Those are... Mm, he, her, her toes. No, no toes, casi. Her two. Toes. No. Toe, toes. Se <laughs> toes, right? La canción que hago con mi hija a diario, ¿la conocéis? Eh, todos pueden. Mm. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. <laughs> Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes. Knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, Shoulders, knees and toes. ¿Y sabes algo? Knees and toes. Se lo sabe ya. Yeah. Se lo sabe. It's incredible. It blows my mind. Okay, we're going to wrap this part. Send we'll me the link. In... Sorry. Go... What's up? The, the link of the song. Send me, please. Yeah, I'll send. I wrote it down. I'll do that, though, at the end of everything, okay? He needs it. Of course. I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to flood you. Te voy a inundar con cosas, Patricio. Great. I'll see you guys in two minutes for the second part of the class, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Papi. Yeah. Apúntate. Super simple songs. Super simple songs. My daughter is learning so much. Of course, don't rely on the videos alone. You have to, you know, you're the vehicle. So I, you know, the video, if you just put the video on for the kid, well, they're going to watch the video. But if you do it. So remember that that part's very important, like, you know, getting them out, okay. out of the TV and into, okay, now you, you know, but uh, I'll send you some more things. Super Simple Songs is great. In fact, their okay. teachers who started it, they were teaching in Japan and uh, they, they found a way of using music to teach basic concepts. Hello, goodbye, hello. And it worked. And now they have millions <laughs> of views. <laughs> so Super Simple Songs. It's, it's our, it's my daughter's crack. A crack mm. de mi hija. <laughs> She's like, it was uh, the same with my daughter. 
But yeah. now we change. We, we are now in the pop uh, songs. Oh, okay. So, well, that's good. I'm, I'm happy. I yeah. can't wait, Edgar, to get to pop music. because Six years. Super simple. <laughs> so, six years. Okay, okay. So this is the thing, Patricio. If you have any like questions, ask me. And if I don't know the answer, I'll ask Edgar. And if Edgar doesn't know, we'll ask Jose Maria. And we'll just keep going down the list. <laughs> Uh, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back, my amigos. Uh, I wanted to look quickly, too, at the vital organs. Lo llamamos igual, your vital organs. Okay. So, um, Patricio, what's this inside my head? Sé que hay poco ahí, pero bueno. That's your brain. My brain. That's my <clears throat> brain, right? Okay. Um, and then we've got uh, these other things, Jose Maria, that when I breathe... Uh, when I breathe in, se puede decir inhale, exhale, or breathe in, breathe out, que es más fácil. <laughs> bueno, inhale, exhale es fácil en español, ¿no? So you, could, you, you can say I'm inhaling or I'm breathing in. I'm exhaling or I'm breathing out. But what organs do we use to do that, Jose Maria? Uh, when you breathe, you use your lungs. Absolutely, your lungs, pulmones. Your lungs. A lot of times we talk about a lung too, like Retiro or Central Park being a lung. So it's also used in that figurative sense too of something that brings air, <laughs> fresh air to a city or someplace like that. Good. Um, let's see. The next one. Uh, no sé dónde está, pero okay. Riñones. <laughs> Edgar, do you know how to say this word? Your, that's your kidneys. Those are your kidneys. Absolutely. Kidneys. Nice job. Kidneys. It's a weird word. Kidneys. Como niño. Jorge, do you know how to say hígado? It's the no, same for the food and the body organ. So if you're ordering the food or if you're talking about an organ, does anyone know? No, I don't know. Who can help Jorge? Uh, what do you ask? Sorry. The hígado, hígado. In, in Spanish. El hígado. Liver. Liver. Muy bien. Liver. 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 It's como el vividor. Makes sense. Because without it, <laughs> your liver, right? Y la expresión en inglés, what am I? ¿Quién sabe esta expresión? What am I? Chopped liver? ¿Qué significa esto? ¿Qué soy? ¿Hígado picado? Do you know this one, anyone? I think no. you say, ¿qué soy? ¿El último mono aquí? ¿Yo no cuento para nada? <laughs> so, like, let's say somebody's handing out. Mira, hablando de hand, es entregar, to hand out. Piénsalo, que estábamos hablando de más. So, somebody's handing out candy, and they get to you, and there's no more. And you say, what am I, chopped liver? No, yo no cuento para nada. ¿Qué soy, hígado picado aquí? Que no. <laughs> what am I, chopped liver? Y hay que decirle con ese tono también, right? So, your liver, <laughs> your liver. Okay, more vital organs. Estoy pensando, your vital organs. We said lungs. We said, no me la sé. <laughs> Brain, liver, kidney. Your heart. Heart. <laughs> your heart, your heart, your heart, sure, sure, your heart, que lungs. Uh, lungs we looked at, we just looked at with Jose Maria, but yeah, your uh -huh. heart, of course, you can't live without your heart, and how do you say the action, what does your heart do? Boom, 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 boom. Pumping. Okay, it pumps beats. blood, but it beats. beats. ¿Te suena la canción? Your heart beat. Hay muchas canciones, so el ritmo. A mí me encanta que la palabra es ritmo. <laughs> we all have a beat, a constant beat, your heartbeat. Okay. Um, how do we say infarto? Heart attack. A heart attack. Absolutely. To have a heart attack. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go through then. We're, we're talking about some of these. Ah, sangre. También me gusta los, la, los fluidos, your bodily fluids. So we've got sangre. How do we pronounce that one, Patricio? Blood. Blood. Muy bien. Nunca blood. Blood. ¿Y el verbo? Oh. Bleeding. How do we say el verbo? Mila. Bled. Bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. bleeding. Bled is impasado. It's bleed, bled, bled. Okay. So, uh, bled sería el pasado. To bleed. Uh, what about this? What do we call this stuff in our mouth? Tongue. This kind of liquid. Saliva. Uh, saliva. Is saliva, no? saliva. 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 Sure, saliva, se pronuncia, se pronuncia, right? Saliva or spit, hay gente que le llama spit también, hombre, saliva es más técnico, spit es, you know, lo que escupes, right? Uh, what about this? In our nose, we have uh, yeah. something that, that collects, when, especially when we have a cold. 
Does anyone know that one? Mucus. Mucus. You can say it's technically called mucus. 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 mucus se pronuncia mucus. La u como u. But we also call it snot. Snot is moco, right? De hecho, snotty, mocoso. Right? Mm -hmm. ver, ¿Lo he puesto aquí o no? Snot. Yo pensé que sí. Ahí está. Snot. Sí, okay. So, uh, you have snot on your face, man. ¿Y qué es la diferencia entre booger, entonces, y snot? Toma vocabulario. <laughs> booger es el duro. Snot es el lindo. <laughs> <laughs> So if, you know, if you pick your nose, you're getting a booger, I imagine, right? But if you have a cold, it's called snot, right? Or mucus, uh -huh. right? Now, what do you have to do, um, Lolis, if you have a runny nose? To have a runny nose, es como suena, right? Oh, I have a runny nose. I'm stuffed up. No, también es otra forma de constipado. I'm stuffed up. What, what do we have to do? Snoozy, snooze, sneezy. No, no uh, sneeze is good, but mm, I was thinking quitarse, sonar los mocos. Sneeze is achu. Achu, yeah. But uh, how do we say that one, sonar los no, mocos, do you know? To blow your nose. Blow, ah, uh, yeah. Las veces que mi madre, yo estaba, she's like, blow Alberto, your blow your nose and not on your shirt. <laughs> you know, so to blow your nose let's go yes. through the body then with some other ones okay there's something we do with our eyes intentionally with one eye um uh, yeah pero te, da un, te doy una pregunta edgar what am i doing va dirigido uh, a ti winking your eyes your eye I'm winking at you. Es para enseñarte es el mismo que look at, point at. Cuando va dirigido, muchas veces es el at después. So I'm winking at you. But if we do it with both eyes, we looked at this, I think, in another class. It has a different name. Does anyone know what I'm doing right now? Besides blinking. having a spasm? Blinking. <laughs> blinking. 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 I'm blinking. And a blinker, ¿sabes lo que es? You guys drive? Conducís? <laughs> Put on your blinker. <laughs> Because a blinking light ah, es una luz. Okay. O, o sea, no son palabras, son ideas. Blinking, right? A blinking Is there any light. one more uh, word for blinkers in your car? I, I believe the British call it your... Vamos a ver, los ingleses sí que cuando llega... Cuando hablamos de coche no estamos de acuerdo de nada. Because I remember uh, that word in a bone book. And indicator saw... light. Indicator light, pone aquí. Indicator. Pero bueno, indicator. nosotros lo llamamos... The indicator. Blinkers. Yeah, the indicators, the right? In, in Inglaterra en general, ellos dicen... Vamos a decir, yo te doy el americano a ver si me... Vamos a una pausa rápido para el coche. I'm going to tell you how Americans say it. You tell me how the British say it. The hood of my car. El capo. The hood. How do the British say it? The tank. The, the tank. The bonnet. The bonnet. The, bonnet. Oh. the hood in American English, the bonnet. That's where the engine is, right? What about the back? I say trunk. Do you know what the British say? Boot. Good. Os conté la historia, ¿no? Mi amigo, I was, in I was at uh, a friend's house in Cambridge, and he said, Alberto, we're going to go to a boot sale. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, mate, a boot sale. I'm like, vamos a una venta de botas? Digo, vaya plan. You know, I was like, this sucks. And we get there, and it's a bunch of cars open selling things. And I'm like, where are the boots? And he goes, the, boot, the car. And I said, <laughs> that day I learned que no lo llaman trunk ellos lo llaman <laughs> the boot of your car right um, also we call it the wind shield la, el escudo de viento they call it the wind screen right so there are a lot of different I think if you guys have it I don't know if you have it but my book uh, English Everywhere I go over all the differences here and there are a lot petrol gasoline Right. <laughs> we, we didn't agree on when, when we sat down to talk about cars. We, we couldn't agree mm -hmm. on anything. OK, mm -hmm. so uh, winking, blinking. What about this? This is something we do, too, a lot of times. Like if, you know, what, what am I doing? I'm scratching my face. But why, 
Am I scratching my face? Because it you are. Because it itches. Porque me pica. It uh, lo he escrito en vasco ahí. Con el <laughs> <X>. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm scratching because it itches. I have an itch. También se puede decir que sabemos también es tengo el mono. I'm itching it's to travel. It's como... I have itchy feet. Muy bien. Buenísima expresión, guys. Excellent job. Okay, uh, and some other expressions. Now with the nose, we say somebody who, who is very curious and asks too many questions. What do we call somebody like that? Nosy. Nosy. That's right. If somebody is nosy, they put their nose in. Now, don't confuse this one. Don't mix it up with noisy. Because I've heard students mix them up. So nosy versus ah. Guess what? My neighbors are both. <laughs> They're nosy and noisy. <laughs> if you can believe that one. Um, okay, let's go to the heart uh, here. We've got a lot of idioms with the heart. How do you say eh, Jose Maria me lo sé de memoria? I know it by heart. Absolutely. I know it by heart right? Um, and uh, let's, we look at hand, to hand out something, es entregarlo, right? But we also say uh, to give someone a hand, echar una mano, un aplauso, de hecho tiene ambos sentidos ahí. So give me, yo me acuerdo amigos, decía, Alberto, can you give me a hand? And I said, sure. <laughs> es ambos, échame una mano y dame un aplauso. So I said, yeah, no problem. You're doing a great job, man. Keep it up. <laughs> When I didn't want to give a hand. Um, also, what about this one? To be caught red-handed. Who can tell me what that means? Um, con las manos en la masa. Yeah, you were caught in the act. Otra forma de decir esto is you were caught with your pants down. Tienes sentido. <laughs> <laughs> Te pillaron con los pantalones abajo. Okay, I was caught red-handed. I was caught. Cuidado con la pronunciación porque he oído muchos. Esa GH no se pronuncia. De hecho... Todas las palabras que acaban con estas son ought, bought, caught, fought, thought. O sea, si sabes hacer ese ought, ya quitamos ese pro problema de pronunciación del medio. So you ought to, you ought to, deberías. ¿Lo conocéis? Ought to. Patricio, te estás tardando. <risa> You, you, I'm still you sleeping. Ought to know. Oh. You're in my... Alanis Morissette, si no me, you ought to know. Os pongo todos estos en, el, en los links, okay? So you can see it. Pero ese ought, ese sonido muy, muy importante en inglés. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's go uh, to uh, arms. We have some expressions with arms. Arms también son armas. So it has that double meaning. But how would I say something is, an ex is very expensive, Carmen? We have an expression when something is very costly or very expensive in English. Uh, I, I thought of costly. Okay. Does anyone know Only. another one? Costly. Take an arm? Costly <laughs> an arm. A leg. Ah, ahí lo tienes. It's, como es frase hecha, it costs me an arm and a leg. Tú say un huevo o un ojo de la cara. Ahora, <laughs> yo cuando oí un huevo, yo me imaginaba huevos del súper y alguien me explicó, no, Alberto. <laughs> more sí, expensive. It's more sí, expensive. porque yo pensaba, digo, ¿y un huevo por qué? Yo no sabía que huevos eran caros. <laughs> y digo a un amigo, digo, explícamelo, tío. Y dice, like, tío, para que veas, an egg en inglés no tiene nada que ver con huevis, right? De hecho, decimos nueces, nuts. Nuts. Right? Nuts, pero no decimos eggs. Okay, so it costs an arm and a leg. We also have an expression that we say, if you twist my arm, have you heard this one? Yes. What does it mean, Edgar? Give us an example where you would use this. Uh, I won't say this to you. Don't twist my arm. Mm -hmm. Good. The, the thing is, to twist your arm, it's like, come on, come on, it's, tell me, tell it's me. It's like tell me. Uh, expressing you or something. Yeah, to force you or something. And a lot of people use it ironically. Like, okay, if you twist, Alberto, you want to go have a beer? If Patricio says, Alberto, you want to go have some beers? Bueno, post-COVID, they go, bueno, if you twist my arm. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. <laughs> so a lot of times we use it in a sarcastic way 
as well. Um, okay, there's another one. Uh, I'm going down a list with different ones and I'm getting the most common ones. So that's why we're jumping around over here. Um, let's see, uh, how would we say, Jorge, that uh, you said something you shouldn't have said. Bueno, Trump, cada día. <laughs> Meter la pata, you say, I think, in Spanish. Do you know how to say this, Jorge? No, I don't know. Maybe Lolas can help no. you. Yo no sabía. Hmm. Anyone? To put your, put your foot on it, in it. In your mouth, or in your mouth as well. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, uh, you put your foot in your mouth. Metiste la pata. Same idea. We just use a different body part. Okay. You put your foot in your mouth. Okay. Uh, the one that we looked at before, had to have itchy feet, means you need to move. What about this one? We looked at uh, Loles. ¿Cómo se pronuncia dedos del pie? Toes. Good. Muy bien. So if I tell you to keep somebody on their toes, what does that mean? If I say, Loles, you're on your toes today. Pabilada. Pabilada, estoy... Avispada. You're on your toes. You know, a lot of times when I see students kind of, you know, relaxing in a class, I ask them a question. I want to make sure you're on your toes. I want to keep you on your toes. A very common expression. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, the next <laughs> one. Because I was with the telephone, no? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Well, because you said twos before. Y ahora lo has dicho bien. Okay. Twos. Bueno, lo, mi mujer dice fingers. Y digo, tía, you have 10 fingers in English and 10 toes. In Spanish, you have 20 fingers. <laughs> But in English, it's 10 fingers and 10 toes. Um, okay. Uh, what about uh, this one? Talking about the face. We didn't mention the face. To be two-faced. Es un malo de Batman también. To be two-faced. Oh, no se deletrear hoy, eh? Ahí está. To be two-faced. What does that mean? I think you have something similar in Spanish. Popita. Sí. Two caras. Tienes dos caras. Yeah, you, you can't be trusted, really, right? If somebody is two-faced, uh, they're hypocritical. They say one thing and do another thing, right? Uh, I'm thinking of the ears, too. I've got a couple, uh, a couple over here. What did... What does it mean if somebody says, I'm all ears? Lo he dicho en el podcast antes. Soy todo oídos. Ah, pues igual en español. Soy todo oídos. <laughs> easy. I'm all e bueno, a veces sí. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes, como el put my foot in my mouth, technically it's easy. Pero es otra parte del pie. I you always say... Pain in my neck. What's that? Pain, a pain in my neck. Nice one. A pain in the neck. Que también se puede decir a pain in the ass. Que la traducción... <laughs> Alto y claro, un coñazo. <laughs> un pesado. <laughs> you said another one about the food. Uh, the food in the, in the door. Keep your foot in the door. Oh, great. In the inter yeah, to get your foot in the door. Get. Nos vosotros decís meter la cabeza, ¿no? En un sitio. We say to get your foot in the door means tener, poder entrar por la puerta. Ya estás metido, right? To get your foot in the door, right? What about, ahora me acuerdo a otro, to foot the bill. What if I say... Don't worry, the company is going to foot the bill. Pagarlo. Corre a cuenta de tal persona. If somebody's going to foot the bill, then, um, then they're going to pay for it. Okay? I said, uh, I think, oh no, estás en la de esta semana. Um, I, oh, I told Carmen, I'll tell the rest of you now. Do you know what uh, this coming episode of FYI is on? Is it both <laughs> on or about? No? Does anybody want to guess? Cocktails? Co Which one? <laughs> Cocktails. Cocktails. Yes, kind of. <laughs> I, I must be in. You're on the right track, buddy. It's about New York City nightlife. Oh, nice. Cool. New York City nightlife firsthand. And I'll just tell you this. Carmen already knows this, but there's murder involved Ooh. like it's not all <laughs> drinks and nice whatever. there is a dark side and we're going to look at that so we're going to learn about new york city nightlife crime and all kinds of things and uh whoa it was <laughs> it brought back a lot of memories um but I'll, i'll this week i'll send you guys some things as always some teasers so you can start researching investigando mm -hmm. Okay, and this way you can start atento. Gonna make make us yellows. 
jealous. <laughs> well, no, once people start dying, you won't be jealous. Please. No, 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 but I mean. <laughs> because it was all good. It was all beautiful. No, the name of the, the title, those, I mean, the... The title, night, the title. The title. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, and how do you say, porque ya que estamos, eh, estar, estar atentos, es una expresión con el ojo. Keep an eye, keep an eye, keep an eye out. Keep an eye. Okay, keep an eye out for it. It's coming out on Thursday. Uh, una que te enseño, bueno, ya te lo enseño, pero lo, lo vimos también, lo vemos en este capítulo, no sé si era la semana, to keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Yeah. Peeled, pelados, se dice, which is a weird mm -hmm. expression. But to keep your eyes peeled is be extremely attentive. Okay? Be very, pay attention. Pay close attention. Keep your eyes peeled. I know he's here. Okay? To keep your eyes peeled. Okay? Uh, and el otro que estaba buscando aquí. To, oh, here's another one with eye. What does it mean, uh, Mila, if I say we don't see eye to eye? Don't agree. You don't agree. Yes, we just... don't agree. We don't see eye to eye. Or we see eye to eye as vemos ojo a ojo. Estamos al mismo. Think about it. Estamos al mismo nivel. Nos entendemos. We see eye to eye. Um, also, um, there's another one. Um, on the tip of my tongue. I think you say the same thing in Spanish. Yes. Right when you you don't know the word, que te pasó Carmen esta un par de veces esta vez. Carmen's like it's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> on my fingers, yes, in the in the podcast you said when you say LinkedIn, my ears bleed, bleed. Yeah, my ears bleed. It's, it's literally my ears bleed. Me show you. Yeah, yeah, the expression. Yeah, yeah, we say the same one. You, you know what's interesting? What I realized with idiomatic expressions, there are three categories. There's the one that's exactly the same, like we just said. ¿Cuál era la que vimos, Loles? Que era exactamente. I'm all ears. Fácil. All ears. Es una, es una fotocopia. Then we have slight variations. Slight es ligero. Slight variations. And that's como el tiempo es oro. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Time is money. Muy bien, Edgar. Estás on a roll. Time is today. Money. Estás en racha. <laughs> Time is money. ¿Qué pasa? No es igual, pero se entiende, you know, if you just remember, it's a variation. It's like, okay, well, I can, I know el tiempo es oro, pues cambio oro por tal. Those are pretty easy too. Y luego están los que tienen nada que ver. Y esos ya son los más difíciles. Pero si podemos, <laughs> if we can at least say, okay, esta es parecida, esta es igual, then we can eliminate, you know, those from our having to memorize them. And, and what I've noticed through my experience is it's either word for word the same, a slight variation, or it's Totally different, right? How do we say la gota que colmó el vaso? Mm. That one's totally different. Alguien? Uh, uh, the straw that uh, that broke the camel. No. Pero mucho más fácil. Back. Mucho más fácil. The last straw. La última paja. Y no paja en el sentido. <laughs> que no paja, okay. The last straw. The la that more, was the more. last straw. The last straw. Pero piénsalo. Es un camello que está cargando mucho y le pones un trocito más y... <laughs> ya no puedes. Mm -hmm. So, the idea is very different there. But, so that's one of them. That would be in that third category. <laughs> you know. Um, all right. Is there any that you guys can think of right now? I'm, I'm looking at some other ones, but I'm off the... Mira, otro. Off the top of my head. Sin querer, esa ha salido. <laughs> ¿Qué significa si digo off the top of your head? Lo primero que te surge. Sí, sin pensarlo yeah. mucho. Off the top of your head. Does anyone, does anyone want to share any that they think, that they can think of? That it, uh, the first that comes to my mind. The first thing that comes to my, ma to my mind. Oh, mind, sure, sure. Mind is a part, right? It's a phys the, your mind. Me recuerda uno también, uh, to be in two minds. ¿La conocéis? Mm -hmm. Yes. What does it mean, Mila? Explain it to us. Uh, it's when you don't have decided and you are between two ideas, yeah. two different ideas. You haven't made a decision. You're indecisive. I'm in two minds. 
I don't know what to do about it. I, I can't make a decision. I can't make up my mind. Otra, otra expres, expresión con mind. Um, I'm, I mean, obviously, there are so many more. We could do a whole other class just on expressions. But if there were any that you guys that come to mind right now, just to get them out, anybody? All right. Um, any? Oh, go ahead, Edgar. Um, algo con la gota que calmó el vaso. I remember something like... Uh... Spills the glass or something like this? Well, I, I haven't that? heard that. That would be a literal mm -hmm. one because yeah. to overflow is que se colma, no? To, piénsalo, sobrefluir, to overflow. But we wouldn't, maybe in, you know what? I have to say this too. Sometimes there are idioms that they use in England or in Australia, which is, think about Australia like a whole nother planet. <laughs> mm. uh, they just know the, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, there is another one. It's something like, don't look at gift horse in the mouth. Yes, creo que lo tenéis igual en español. No mires a, a caballo regalado, no, no le mires listen. al diente. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Absolutely. Good one. Mouth. Um, I, I, there was another one. Uno que leí en un libro el otro día. Que estoy, yo leo, I, I read a novel in Spanish, then in English, then in Spanish, then in English. Y... Pelearon, eh, ¿qué era? Uña y diente, you say? Uh -huh. Pues, ¿sabes cómo se dice en inglés? Con, con uñas y dientes. To fight tooth and nail. Igual. Tooth and nail. <laughs> que lo vi y digo, ah, mira, perfecto. I love it when that happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, no tenía que ni mirarlo, ni preguntar a mi mujer. Lo tengo ahí. So um, those are just some, as I said, we can look at more in, in future classes, but there are a lot of, obviously, because it's our body, we have so many different, ah, la última, esta está en la categoría de slight variation. Le conozco como el, la palma de la mano. How do we say that one? I know him like the back, like the back of my palm. The back of my hand. Hand, so. Mm -hmm. my Entonces, palm. piénsalo, es parecido. I know him like the palm of my hand, no? Like the back of my hand. ¿Qué tiene más sentido? Nunca, no andas así por la vida. <laughs> ¿Ves esta Excuse parte me, mal? Alberto. Go ahead, sure, Jorge. Este, how do you say, la tengo en la punta de la lengua. Ah, it's, it's, espera, te lo apunto. It's on the tip of my tongue. Okay. Otra con tongue que se me ocurre, a veces me pasa en el podcast. I got tongue-tied. ¿Qué significa tongue-tied? Mm. A tongue twister. Yeah, but it's like when you're saying something, your mind is thinking something and you're trying to say something and your tongue doesn't know what to do. <laughs> my hands Alberto, are Al Al Alberto, can I say after three beers, my tongue is tight? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, many people tell me, they say, Alberto, after three beers, my English improves. <laughs> And you yeah, know what my answer that, is? For me, it's the same. I my think. answer, but my answer, here's my answer. I have a theory here. Your inhibitions go down. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean you, you feel like your English improves. <laughs> but you know what? Unfortunately, we can't have three beers every time we're going to speak English. No. So we have to put ourselves in that position of, okay, I just had three beers. I don't care what people think. I, I, will, be, I, will, be, I will be fired. <laughs> right, right. Well, you know what? I, I, I always tell this story because every time I go to a radio program or people say, Alberto, you had Mario Vaquerizo as a student. I mean, <laughs> how was that? That must have been difficult. And you know what I said? I said, no, actually, I wish all my students were as assertive as he is. He's not shy. He's not afraid to make mistakes. He does not care what people think about him. And He can communicate probably the same as somebody at an intermediate level just because he doesn't stop himself. He doesn't, you know what I mean? He just goes. So a lot of times, you know, I know a lot of students who have a very high level, but because they're shy or otra forma de decir tímido is bashful. ¿Sabéis otra forma de decir tímido? Timid. <laughs> shy, timid, or bashful, se puede decir. And you know what? I realize this. And here's my advice. We'll wrap up over here with this advice. It's never going to help you. Being shy, being timid, not only in English, it's not going to help you. Be assertive. You know, if you make a mistake, you'll know. 
Porque te van a mirar like, huh? <laughs> and then what do you do? Just try and say it in a different way. You know, yeah. especially in a, you know, if somebody doesn't, what would you do? A lot of times it happens with my wife and I, I try and explain something in English and she's like, I don't know what that is. I'm like, hmm, let me explain it in a different way. So that, you know, that's a, that happens even between people who are speaking the same language sometime like, huh? <laughs> don't worry about making mistakes. That's part of the learning process. And don't wait to speak until you feel like you're not going to make mistakes because to err, no, esta expresión que hemos visto is human. To err right? is human. To err is human. And, and that's, it shows that you're trying, you know? Uh, Alberto, excuse me, can I say a short question? Uh, phrase now before we wrap up. Yeah. <clears throat> now I understand why um, one of your students on Instagram replies you, you are double A teacher. And now I, I have discovered you are a double A, A, A teacher. <laughs> right, right. Double A teacher, Alcoholics Anonymous. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> or triple A, sabes? A ver si Patricio lo sabe. What's triple A? Lo sabes? Triple A? Patricio que vivió en Estados Unidos. No. Triple A is the Automobile the Association of America. También son pilas, pero también es eh, la ¿Cómo se llama el de asistencia del coche? The Automobile Association of America. Uh, so if you're a member, te mandan grúa, you know, a tow truck. A tow truck es una grúa. But sure, double A, triple A, it means different things. And they're both batteries, as Carmen said. <laughs> All right. Uh, any, any questions before we get going? Any more questions? Any? Just one. Uh, sure. uh, you, you know, usually, I mean, you had a, an unwritten rule about mm -hmm. set up your Christmas tree after. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what about <laughs> taking out this, Christmas? Apply the, you, the rule. <laughs> Well, the thing is, the thing is this, why, when my daughter lets me do something, <laughs> she wakes up at like 6.30 and she goes to sleep at 10. And as I told Carmen, that means I do the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about taking it down. The intention is there. Yeah, uh, me too. Uh, my one is still. <laughs> my one is still. <laughs> Acabamos con esos phrasal verbs, to put up the tree and to take down the tree we do it to, today i promise okay loles let's do it let's <laughs> promise each other let's let's otra forma de promesa let's vow to each other de hecho los promesas en una boda se llaman vows no se, no se dicen promises right uh, so let's we're going to make a vow that that uh, by the next class you won't see that tree now if i have to push it into the corner that's a different story <laughs> <laughs> I push it out of the frame. Lo saco fuera de plano, no? <laughs> uh, I was caught red-handed. <laughs> Being two-faced. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, great job, all of you. Pronunciation, you know, really, really good. And, uh, and keep up the good work. That's all I can say. Keep up the good work. You know, sometimes uh, we don't see our progress until, like Carmen said this morning, until... You're talking and you say, wow, I knew that. I knew that. I knew that too. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> so sometimes in the moment where, you know, you're just like, oh, am I making? But when we're taught the next, the next time you, you speak to somebody in English, you should feel it. You should at least, at least the comprehension part. Yeah. You know, the speaking sure. part that's in your hands. Obviously, we speak as much as we can in the class, but as much as you can vocalize too on your own, like when you listen to the podcast, and you hear a vocabulary word or a structure that's unfamiliar to you, say it aloud, do yourself a favor. Because, you know, until you say it aloud 10 times, sometimes it's not yours. Sometimes it takes a few times to get it. But, yeah, uh, but you guys are doing a great job. I'm very proud of you and you should be proud of yourselves too. Thank you for giving Thank us, you very for much. Give us fun. Thank, Thank you. you. It was a great time. Have a, a great weekend. time myself. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you soon, okay? Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.